So today I'm going to talk a little bit about and show you some video of loading cattle out of a, some of you may know what this is, is called a bud box. And there's two principles that we use to kind of set up and utilize a bud box. And all of this stuff I learned from Bud Williams. I had a chance to go to many schools. Uh, I had a chance to spend some time working with him an absolute genius in handling livestock and in mostly everything else also <laughs> so so anyway it's helped us tremendously uh we have this bud box over here and then my folks have one over in texas that we set up and it just changes everything on how you load your cattle i wanted to go over kind of the two main principles that we use when using a bud box and this works with one animal to however many you can fit in the box, which is around, typically what you want to be able to fit in the box is a half of a deck. So a top deck or a bottom deck, which is going to be, depending on the size, it may be 40 to 50, or it may be, uh, you know, 20 if they're real big, cows or something. But the bottom line is you can use, use it for a small amount of animals or a large amount of animals. The principles are the same. And there's basically two principles. One is the cattle want to go by you. They want to see you and they want to go by you. The other one is the cattle want to go back where they came from. So by using those two characteristics with livestock, notice I said livestock, not just cattle, for our deal, it starts right here. I've got a pot's worth of calves. That's a truckload. The trucker has told me how many I need. So I come in here and I count out how many. I pressure them right here. I let them go by me and I count them out. So that first group was a small group. And my goal is I wanna get up here and shut this gate before they turn and want to come back. So I'm right on their tail pretty much. So as I shut this gate, remember the two principles, the cattle want to go by me and they want to return where they came from. So if that's the case, I'm going to stand right here until they kind of start wanting to come back. And they're going to go because they want to go right there, which is where they came from. So when they go by and they want to go right there, now all of a sudden, that's the open spot. So that's what they see. I'm about right in this position and the cattle gonna want are gonna want to go by and I'm gonna stand here and try to control the numbers that go in that's the most difficult thing to do because once these realize hey we're going back where we came from if, if I'm not here if I don't make it here to control this amount they just bunch up immediately because they all want to go and that's what happens but if it works just perfect and you're doing it just perfect you haven't gone too far back and got yourself out of position to continue to let them go by me right here where you can control the numbers as they want to come back i may step forward just a little bit to get them going see i can move forward and move back in order to control these going by if i'm doing it right and i don't always do it right Shh, 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 shh. 
count? Yeah, that's 34 there. Oh, good. All right. I thought I was a little off. That's the two main principles we're using, and it works very well. So it will help all of you if you're loading one or if you're loading a bunch. Cattle want to go back where they came from, and they want to go by you. And that specifically by you, they want to be able to see you when they go by. So think about that when you're loading stuff the next time and see if you can apply those. Now, one other trick that we learned on loading cattle on a ramp into a truck this is an aluminum ramp you notice it's got dirt packed on there that's not from the calves going up and down it that's from me taking that yellow shovel over there and shoveling dirt on this thing all the way to the top if your calves are stopping when they get to something like this it helps if you put dirt on it we i did this first over here in oklahoma and then we were having some problems in Texas, and I'll show some video of loading in Texas. That floor was so slippery, we used lumber. And it was so slippery that when they hit it, they would just lose their footing immediately. Well, when the first one lost its footing, the one behind him is like, nope, I'm not going there. And so now we put a bunch of dirt in there where it's almost solid dirt, and they just go, I mean, it works wonderfully. So let's look at some in Texas and how it's a little bit different setup, but it's the same principles. They'll come down this alley right here into here. That end's open, so they think they can go on in, so they're easy to load in the box. Then Ben will swing this solid gate back. It'll latch right here. So they'll want to come back where they came in. They'll typically want to come to this corner if everything works right. Then he'll just be standing right out here and he'll pressure them. And they'll just go right down this thing right onto the truck. Works like that every time, right? <laughs> Most of the time.
hopefully that helps some people. I know when I first kind of learned about the bud box and uh, first saw it work for the first time, and it was in a feed feedlot up where Don uh, Notto was working, and it just was, it worked so smooth. I was like, man, how fast can we do that? And we tried a couple of different designs and they didn't work just right. And so I think one of the biggest things to do is remember those two characteristics. The cattle want to go where they've come from. They want to go back and they want to go by you. Remember that and it'll help you. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.